Hello everyone, welcome back to Melanie's journal and today we're going to set up the January uh, setup for 2024 and uh, you can see here this is going to be the cover page which we're going to color in together um, and this month is all dedicated to the dark academia style so I'm just going to show you the line art that I have going on here and that we're also going to be coloring in so we have the monthly trackers, mood tracker, and I've decided to change my setup for um, this year. Usually in the, my last setups I would have the middle part would be part of a drawing and then the outsides would be dates, um, but I wanted to have more of a a way to write down my to-dos um, and so I kind of changed around the setup. I'm going to see if this uh, works for me uh, at least the first few months. Um, it will also still give me some uh, part to decorate. Um, I'm going to be using a little, few more stickers to decorate this part as well. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to uh, start doing this. So this will be the first week and that one we're going to be coloring in together and then the second week, third and fourth, I'm going to color uh, off camera uh, just because it will make this video a bit shorter and a bit more watchable. Um, I'm going to show you the line art for now. And then finally, here we have the mind map page. Um, usually I would have an extra a piece of watercolor paper here instead of coloring straight into my notebook because these are tend to be more elaborate pages but again, I kind of decided to kind of change it up a little bit more and I'm very happy how this one turned out it's going to be a bit of a theme going through the journal um, and I hope you will enjoy seeing that come together but first let's get started with the cover page which is like a desk setup along with the cabinets as well and just some few knickknacks here and there and I decided to put January in uh, these photo frames uh, as well as I'm going to use some washi tape but you'll see that all once I get to it but yeah first I'm going to start with the background here um, Dark Academy is known for its uh, darker earthy tones and so that's what you will see me use throughout this setup and I hope you will enjoy it
Okay, so most of the painting is done. Um, I'm leaving the frames empty for now because I'm going to add some washi tape in the empty frames and then later on color in the frames that kind of correspond best with the washi tape itself. Now I've got a few things um, that I'm going to try and use, uh, such as some from the notebook therapy collection. Um, and let's see, here is another one. Just to fill them in, uh, I like to have the more of a botanical feel to them, but you'll see me put them in and then I will link the ones I use down below uh, by the comment section uh, and then we can complete this painting. Okay, so the main painting is done, we're now going to go on with the metallic details. Basically all the white spots that you can still see are going to be uh, coloured in some gold metallic paints. Very happy how it's turning out so far. You could see me put the stickers on and colour in the empty spaces. The ones with the black, they were actually um, glow in the dark stickers, so it should give a very, very cool effect later on. Um, but yeah, we're almost done now. The completed piece with all the metallic details. I'm very happy how it turned out. I'm going to um, make sure that there's a copy of this page whole. So if you want, you can download it off from my Patreon. Um, and now we're gonna kind of cut it in half and put it into my journal. And here is a piece in my journal. Once again, very happy how it turned out. I think it really gives off that dark academia vibe. And so now we can move on to the next pages, which is the monthly goals page. What I'm going to do first is actually use some washi tape behind this uh, window here and then start painting in the rest. I like to have some washi tape in this, uh, in this spread. So I'm going to use a tape from Archer and Olive. This is part of their, um, let's put it this way. It is part of their uh, subscription box from December. And I'm going to use a lovely Starry Night, which is going to be this one right here. I hope you can see some of the shine. It's going to cover part of the window, cut out whatever is whatever excess there is, and then start painting it. Um, I won't film this part because it's just very fiddly, uh, but you will see me start painting in the rest of the painting to create this dark academia cozy vibe with a lovely little cat.
here we have the finished gold piece. Quite a simple decoration, but I'm very happy how it turned out, and I love the starry night scene that you see over by the window. Here we have the habit and mood tracker page. I already put down some washi tape just for a little bit of decorations on this side and then here around the border and uh, I made this bookcase in March uh, for my Hogwarts setup and I really liked it um, and so I really want to have some more books as mood trackers. There are 31 books um, so I will um, be filling out them throughout the month and give um, a few colors uh, that I will use to indicate what moods I'm in. I'm going to just make a quick coloring of the outline of the library, obviously leave the books blank for now, and color in the little cat over there. So yeah, let's get to it. Here is the finished mood tracker, like a little sparkle at the end, and excited to start filling it in. These moods and this shiny little cat. So now I'm gonna go on to the weekly page. This is the only one I will show you uh, that I'm painting on camera. The rest I'll be doing off camera, uh, just to you know uh, shorten the video a little bit because otherwise it would be a bit too much. Um, if you are interested, I might be showing off the other weeks uh, in my Patreon, um, but yeah, let's get started.
So the main painting is done. I like again the shine and how it turned out. And for this page right here, what I'm going to do for every week is add a little sticker that kind of corresponds with the painting on the left side. And here I have stickers. These are from the uh, Archer and Olive. Um, it was their September, no, sorry, their October subscription box. Um, I cut out a few uh, pieces, uh, but they're very few stickers. They also glow in the dark. And especially, of course, the Luna Moth really um, coincides with this one. So I'm going to put it here on the bottom just to kind of, you know, fix the pages together. And again, this is also a nice way if you want to recreate the page or anything, then you can always use some sticker elements to kind of uh, tie everything together. So yeah, happy how this one turned out. And like I said, the other weeks I'm going to do off camera and we're going to move on to the last setup, which is going to be the mind map page. So the final piece in the setup is the mind map page. Um, on which I've drawn this beautiful uh, reading girl, which is going to be a recurring theme in some of the other setups. I'm very excited to start painting it. Um, I will have a colored version as well as a uh, line art version uh, for you on my Patreon as well that you can check out if you want. Um, but yeah, let's get painting.
here the final piece is done. Show you the whole picture. Very happy how it turned out. I love all the shine and the shimmer. Just very happy how it turned out. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing it. As I said, the uh, line art as well as this version will be up on my Patreon. Uh, but now it's time for the final flip through. And here is the final flip through of January with the cover page, the goals and social tracker, the habit and mood tracker with uh, the different colors. first week of January, second week of January all colored in, third week, we have how this one turned out, and the fourth week of January also again very happy how this one turned out, and the mind map page. I hope you enjoyed seeing the setup. Please uh, let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.